Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato back for another episode of uh, Abyssal Craft Let's Play. The most catchy named Let's Play on YouTube. Um, Alright, so I've got my all my Psy armor on, or at least the pieces that I want. I have the helmet and I have the leggings. And so the helmet, we need to get the exo sensor for it, the light sensor. And to do that, we need to go to the nether. But I think I'm going to go ahead and... Um, just make myself pretty again so I can use cosmetic armor here and take off the helmet visually, although it's still on. That's a cool plug-in, um, and we'll be good on that. So I'm back, guys, looking, I'm going to make the purple slime boots, you know? But anyway, let's, uh, whoops, let's head over to our, uh, zombie village here. Uh, I've, this is a good middle point that I could get to pretty easy. It's got almost like a runway. So, and of course I can hit my speed to get there quicker. Sometimes I don't get over these trees, but see, it's got like a little runway there. So that's perfect. So I think we're just going to make the nether portal just out here in the open right now. And then we'll figure out, I mean, this is a abandoned village, basically. I think every zombie's been killed, but so we could do whatever we want with it. But I'm thinking I'm just going to put the portal out here right now. I got some obsidian while we were mining, um, so let's do that. Yes, sir. Let's make us a little portal. Um, got a shovel here. I think I actually want to go see, my nullifier picks up dirt I think all right let's just make this portal real quick and I do mean quick boy there we go okay some dirt Yeah, the step up is kind of it's shaky sometimes. Like I'm not sure if I'm, I'll probably turn it off in the nether. I think it'll get me in trouble. Whereas these slime boots will also get me in trouble now that I think about it. Uh, let me get the dirt down here. So I need to get um, some other boots made before we go as well. But I'll go ahead and make the portal. But yeah. We definitely want to make some different boots because these guys will get me in trouble. Okay, that'll work. Uh, yeah, let me fly back over because I'll need some diamonds to do it. Sometimes, see, I'll hit these trees if I'm just not at right, just the right angle. I gotta launch again. So I may cut down some of them if they're if it happens all the time. But it's not usually that bad. Uh, but yeah, there's big trees in the way. Yeah, so in the water is the easiest most of the time. Um, yeah, let me make these long fall boots from the grappling hook mod. Okay, so they're basically diamond boots, long fall. And, of course, they're the stylish ones. Uh, so we need a set of diamond boots and some wool. So it's not too bad. So that's going to use up four of our diamonds. Well, we got 38 now. And uh, we're going to want to get fortune on stuff, but we'll go ahead and do that. Here. And yeah, those slime boots can get you indefinite 
bad shape in the nether. You don't want that. Is that right? It's shaped. Yeah. Okay, those are fine. So I think they just look like diamond boots. You have them on. I like the slime boots. I like the movement of them. I'm going to wear those most of the time. But in the nether, they will get you killed. Yeah, they, they just have the texture of the diamond boots in this pack. Yeah, in the nether, they will definitely get you killed. Especially if you're flying around and bouncing and stuff, or, you know, moving around like we are. But we're going to be even doing some crazier movements. That'll probably get me killed anyway. And that'll it'll be fun. Yeah, those trees right there. These aren't so bad right here. If I time it just right. Okay, so um, got a flint and steel on me. I'm, I'm not even going to sleep or anything. We'll just go ahead and go into the nether. And I've got a flint and steel right here. All right, let's see what we get. Could be good, could be bad. It's always a gamble. And then if it's good, we'll move it. Shift on the portal. Okay, we need to go deeper. Yes, we do. We are going deeper. We need some nether quartz. And some glowstone. Okay. We're at lava lake level. Mm -hmm. 34. Okay, now there's demon pit, demon animals in here. So we got to watch for those dudes. And I'm... Let's see, that's magma in this pack. Really weird looking. It looks like the Dark Abyssal Stone. It, actually, it didn't match well with that. Oh, good. Nether Quartz. Yeah, let's just watch for the demon pigs. What's this? What is that? Oh, that's a dimensional charge from uh, RF tools. But okay, we're at lava level, lava lake level. I haven't done that in a while, but it's kind of good. There's our magma island, magma slime. It's kind of good because there's a demon thing. Yes, sir. Another one. They're annoying. Um. I think the fires go out. Yeah. That's good. At least. Well, all right. Let me first mark the portal. And I think we're going to put our lives at risk. Serious risk here. Um, I don't know if I'll surround the portal. This is another space where gas could easily spawn. Guys, we're going to grapple around. Um, I, I've been practicing. <laughs> I don't know. It's so sketchy. I die a lot. I lose all my stuff. Um, yeah. So it's one of those things. All right, I've got a couple things. First of all, we know that we can parachute. Where's my parachute? Right here. The parachute works good. Let's let's start with some basics. Okay, so we can parachute. Yeah, we can parachute. Why oh, wow, they didn't work? There we go. Yeah, and I've turned off lava thermals, which is on by default in the mod. It's kind of annoying. Does it put you up to the ceiling? I'm not sure if that's still purple or... 
Uh, definitely this mod's kind of buggy. But see, this works, right? So this is not bad. Um, let's see where we are around here. I think I see a fortress. Here, ghast. Um, yeah, there's a fortress right there. Um, I don't see the ghast. I've never fought a ghast in this uh, parachute, and I'm really not equipped. I don't have much of a ranged weapon. So, yeah, okay, that works good, right? No problem there. Shift to get off. We don't take fall damage. Now, let's look at the other... Oh my god, I'm scared. Let's look at the magnetic grappling hook. And then the motorized one, we'll try it too. Alright, magnetic grappling hook. It swings you around. You've got to push shift. See? Oh my god, that is sketchy. And then you hit W to go up. <laughs> that is freaking sketchy, guys. That is very, 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 very sketchy. Okay, so you right-click to release yourself and then hit another area right there and then come up. Okay. Yes. So it's doable. It's just... And then you can make... You can descend this way and so it's not that bad you just can't make any mistakes over the lava and you need to get your angles right of where you want to go and be sure and not swing into see because when you're swinging like i'm holding shift this whole time because if i'm not holding shift then i'm swinging around wildly and you can go, uh, it's really not a good idea, but you can go down. So anyway, here's some glowstone. And that's kind of what we want. Yeah, let's get the glowstone. So you can shift. I don't know what that was. I think you can even open your inventory. Move your inventory around. No, you can't. Well, you can if you let go of shift. So, let's go to here. Okay, see the parachute, it let go. And the parachute automatically deployed. Um, which is fine. Uh oh, but I'm still hooked. Oh, Lord. Uh, where, what did I do? Where's the grappling hook? Sketchy. Okay. Yeah. We still ended up okay. We're where where we want to be. But as I said, man, that is sketchy. Oh. I got my vein miner set to shift grave and the quake thing set to grave, so um, that's a thing. So there's glowstone. 58. I'm just, you know, I'm curious of how, how to manipulate the interface. Oh, God. Don't know what happened. <laughs> so sketchy, man. Oh, my God. What am I doing? Why don't I just get extra utilities and fly? What's wrong with you? Okay. See, you swing like a crazy person. Um, all right, here's the thing, too. I have no idea if I can switch to it. Let's try. So if I grab this guy and I put it on my bar, this is the controller for 
Psy, and I have the Rainbow Road spell, which is a walking thing. Okay, let's let's stop. Let's unhook. A lot of things to think of. Okay, yeah. See, now I can walk on air with Psy, and it creates conjured blocks underneath you. It's called a Rainbow Road, and then they disappear over time. Then you hit shift to go down and space to go up. So that's very valid too. Now let's see if in context with the grappling hook what that does. Um, it screws it up, obviously. <gasps> Where am I? Okay. On the ceiling, and I'm going down. Okay. Oh God! What? 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 What is it? Oh, it's lava. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's turn off the grappling hook. Yeah. And then I can just walk. Okay. Not. I mean, kind of horrible, <laughs> terrifying, but. I'm not sure if they'll actually work together with each other that well. Let's, see. Let's try to pull ourselves up over there. Then Rainbow Road. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glitchy. Oh, I'm I'm still hooked. Yeah, let go of the hook. Let's see, pull myself over there. Yeah, it's, it's not quite because they're fighting each other. Pigs. So I'm not sure about those in combination with each other, but it I can like get up to some place and then engage it. That's what I'm thinking. Well, let me try to go someplace halfway safe. See the Rainbow Road slow. Um, I'm not sure what it does with the squake. Yeah, there's a fortress. Okay, I'm just going to grab some more glowstone real quick. Oh, yeah, shift, shift, great. Oh, oh, that's not good. Luckily, see, I, ca I can't fall, so I can, like, stand on it and mine it. Yeah, that'll work. I got, I got enough, I'm sure. Okay. So is there any demon animals below us? In demon animals. And then turn this off. Now I also have this spell called Sanctuary. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. I, I don't think it's like it I don't think it's like damage. See, it pushes them away. Kind of like a, the shield does. And I can push them into a wall. But I'm not so sure that, you know, at that point it counts as me a, as a player kill. So I don't think they get mad at me. But I can just part the waters of mobs. It's using the sigh on my bar, which we have to watch. Um. I don't have a ranged weapon right now. Come up here. I think there's demon pigs after me too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can get her. Gas or female, by the way. Because... Yeah, I don't have a ranged weapon. Um, so anyway, I don't want to mess with them right now anyway. Don't mind some quartz for me, that'd be good. Mm, they're just making a mess. 
So the best thing is just go someplace else. Yeah, I don't have any ranged weapons at the moment. That's why I'm not really going to the uh, fortress till we get that. I just came to get some resources and see what kind of spawn we have. And we actually have an interesting spawn. I'm not sure if I can mine that. Yeah. Um, this is not the place to mine it. Obviously, I blocked this off. Maybe um, I can use my uh, nullifier here to place a cobble. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if there's lava underneath there's the bad thing about vein mining in the nether is that it can create big holes and you can fall in them and burn okay there's some cobalt for us so i'll just do a little bit of my oh see my point that could have been bad um i need to add the Nether core, nether rack to the nullifier. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm just going to get some resources real quick, and uh, then I'll be right back with you. All right, guys. So rather sketchy with some gas around, but okay. We got over a stack of two stacks of glowstone, over a stack of quartz, twenty five uh, cobalt. Some soul sand, 16 ardite. That should be enough for what we want to do. All right, I'm above the portal, apparently. Um, I just want to press my luck here. Okay. Lower myself. You want to get down below it. Ooh, sketchy. Oh, pull me up. Eat, 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 eat. 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 Ah, didn't die. Oh, God. That was close. Oh, that's so sketchy. I don't want to do that anymore. Um, yeah, so I didn't have enough room is what it was when I was above the lava, when I let myself down, I didn't have enough room to let go and get back on again. I lied. I'm, I never learned my lesson. Gasts. Oh, oh. gasts. Okay. See, when you let yourself go, you're going to fall down a little bit. And you can go down. And I could let go right there. So it's not so bad, man. You just can't make mistakes. And going down's a little harder because you swing at an angle. You know, you're always at kind of an angle. So, um, yeah. And then where's the portal? Portal's over here. So the best thing to do in this case to go down, just take a leap of faith and walk off of it and get the parachute. And the parachute, you can't hit shift because you'll uh, fall, but it should automatically pick you back up, but I don't trust that yet. Uh, as I said, in this mod, you can have lava thermals. So you could uh, 
drift over the lava, but it actually pushes you up in the air more than I like. So I don't want to land on the magma. And I've got... I don't know what happened to my axe. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and escape before these guys... I need to... Let me mine some of this magma. Yeah, being down at the lava level is interesting. Uh, the dimensional quartz. Might as well get it. It's usually never this easy to get. And I, did I see some more somewhere? I think um, this needs to be covered. So let's see if we take our nullifier. You don't want magma right outside your door. Okay, that thing just fed me. So the nullifier now I can. I mean, I might as well do nether rack. Yeah, I like this nullifier thing. It's really cool. Looks like a lot easier. So, I've got a bunch of netherrack stored in it, and every time I mine it, I just grab it. So, Ender Utilities is a nice mod, and we'll, we'll do more stuff from it. Okay, so let's go. Enough of that madness. Let's see, I don't know. It's daytime. So, that was actually quite an interesting spawn. For the kind of thing that we want to play with. So I'm happy with that. Uh, I got everything I needed. Yeah, see if I do it right, it'll just get us right over the trees. Okay, so now we want to look at the problem with the nether going to the fortresses and stuff is I didn't have a ranged weapon. Okay, so we want to look at making a yo-yo. Yo-yo. Yeah. And we're going to make a, a manual in one, I suppose. We can mix them up. I haven't really played with the mixed materials, but we'll start with this guy. Because it has a duration. The duration is how long it'll go out. It'll go out for 45 seconds. Has an attack of 15 which is pretty darn good. And then it has high durability. So compare that to diamond. And now, but it's heavy. It weighs, where's that? Eight. So it's slow. That means it's slow in its sweep. Uh, diamond weight 1.7, length nine blocks, 20 seconds. Okay, so you gain a lot of distance out. You gain a huge attack advantage. Um, so that's what we're going to make. We're going to make this yo-yo, and we're going to do that in the next episode. And we never did make a crossbow as well. Let's look at that. Um, we could probably make that one quickly. Let's look at the diamond crossbow. Uh, you need this binding. It's a lot of diamonds. So two. That's, that's two. Seven. That's seven diamonds for that guy. Whereas, what's this one? Lightweight. Strong. Strong takes a few more diamonds. Um, I'll, let me research the difference between those because I don't actually know. In this mod, by the way, the crossbow mod, just to let you know, I had to roll back because it was crashing me every time I uh, would click a key with an empty hand and that was bad. So I, I went to and looked at like some mod packs like invasion and stuff that I knew had it and they used 1.3. So don't use 1.6 of this mod, at least for 110. Cause if you have an empty hand and you click it, any key, it will crash it. 
because it's a null. So anyway, that was a successful trip, guys. Very, very sketchy. I am actually shocked I did not die in the lava. But I hope you enjoyed that. Let me switch my... I don't want to do that. Stop. I reassigned some of my keys, and it's, uh, it's confusing me. Okay, there's my priority face. So, everybody, it's Scott Omato. Thanks for much, so much for watching. Hit the like button if you like. I wouldn't want you to hit the like button if you didn't like. That would be a lie. Got the map thing over my eye like a laser. Anyway, it's Scott Omato. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.